Hi, I'm Katherine Salinga, news editor of the Equine Journal. I'm here with Tremaine Cooper. He's a cross-country course designer here at Millbrook Horse Trials. Tremaine, can you kind of tell me about how the hills here at Millbrook give you both challenges and advantages? Yeah, this is one of the hillier courses that I do. It's one of the hillier advanced courses um, around. And sometimes you, know, you try to find every little bump to use um, to make it interesting and, and have terrain questions. Here you almost try to find areas with no terrain mm -hmm. and you try to negate the terrain. If you used every little hill, it, would, it wouldn't flow very well. It would be way too much up and down. But even with that, there's, there's quite a bit of terrain that people aren't necessarily used to. So the technicality of the questions, how high is it with the terrain so hilly? I think if, if I were to take this course and put it on totally flat terrain, mm -hmm. it would be quite a bit easier. Mm -hmm. um, I have erred on the side of making this a little bit closer to what you'd see on a flatter course and the results aren't great. I mean, people have a really hard time um, because of the terrain. So you sort of have to take that into a lot of consideration, actually, and and have the terrain be the question in a lot of cases. And that's mm -hmm. down to the beginner novice. You know, even training, they had two jumps and you just went over a big mound between it. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, just learning to go up a hill and then down a hill without popping off, sometimes that can be enough of a question. Mm -hmm. So we're here at the water complex. We saw some people struggling yesterday, particularly at the intermediate level. Yeah. What did a successful ride take and what did it look like? Um, it actually was kind of interesting because you could see the two fences before. A lot of times if they, you know, and they were another couple hundred meters back, if they had successful jumps there, they were better prepared for the, the water. Mm -hmm. um, that's not a hundred percent, but it was interesting to, as the day went on, see that mm -hmm. was the case mm -hmm. um you needed you know a fairly forward ride into the water um but then some people i think especially once it got back to the barns that that was you know a hard question the, mm -hmm. the chevron people sometimes got nervous and ran at the the little um groundhog in the water or beaver actually tailless mm -hmm. beaver yeah. and um then it they got flat and then it was hard to to make the two strides it was a forward two stride but you had to get in a lot of power to the groundhog beaver mm -hmm. and um but not a lot of speed and then put your leg on for the two mm -hmm. um i was lucky it worked for me but um you know it didn't work for someone but the nice thing is it wasn't punishing for the horses they got mm -hmm. run outs you know unfortunately a bunch of people did walk home or elected to retire which isn't you know my my goal i'm not out to i think with all levels even advanced you're not out to find to test them as or you're testing them but more so you're educating them because mm -hmm. my end goal is mostly if you come through the finish line having a better horse mm -hmm. or a more educated horse even if you don't do well even if you had stops you know where you have to go and what you have to do um, mm -hmm. so you know that's where it's kind of neat in a place like this where you're advanced down to beginner novice mm -hmm. because everything is a stepping stone. Mm -hmm. So you look at advanced and what they do, and then you say, okay, how do I set up intermediate so that it educates them to be able to do those advanced questions that goes all the way down to beginner novice. Great. Now, we had beginner novice through advanced in this water complex. <laughs> how hard was it to fit all of them in here? Yeah, it's always a bit of a compromise. Mm -hmm. um, you're kind of lucky with beginner novice and novice because usually they just run in. You don't have to put a jump there. Mm -hmm. But since we ran two days, we did pull out all the lower level stuff. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't in the way for for the upper level people. So otherwise, it's a little busy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So you also ran intermediate yourself here at the Millbrook Horse yep. Trials. Is that something you usually do or was it a special occasion? Um, I've actually run the last three years here mm -hmm. just because it's fit into my schedule. Um, it's actually, I find harder to, to compete mm -hmm. over one of my courses because my mind is on the work and back and forth. And it's, you know, it's best, especially, you know, as the levels get higher, you do need to be more focused on competing, not what everyone else is doing and mm -hmm. um, your job as, you know, getting the course ready. So, mm -hmm. um, I mean, it worked and I think it's, you know, it's good for me to, especially a terrain like this, to ride it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes I find myself on course thinking, oh, that was pretty easy. I can 
make that a little harder next year. And then sometimes, whoa, the, I don't want to make that any harder. Um, so it's, I mean, I think it's good for my designing and I think the designing is good for my riding. Good. And now you've been doing Millbrook for a number of years. How difficult is it to constantly, um, you know, be challenging people year in and year out? I think it's, it's a fun thing. I mean, some places are, are kind of limited. Mm -hmm. This, there are quite a few things you can do. Um, and it's, I mean, it's part of the job. It's kind of fun to, mm -hmm. to try to make it new. The only trouble is, you know, if, if all you were doing were the advanced or the intermediate or one or a couple divisions, mm -hmm. um, you could easily be very creative and change a whole lot. But then when you have to do six courses and you have a budget, sure, you're like, oh, whoops, I, <laughs> I got to, you know, give something a little bit new to, to everyone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so what I try to do is, is, you know, this year I did more new stuff for the upper level and mm -hmm. next year hopefully I'll have some more portables I can just move some stuff for them but then build some new stuff for the lower levels so you know it's sort of a back and forth year yearly thing. Great we look forward to seeing it next year. I hope it'll be great. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you.